This is going to be a quick overview on how to use a digital caliper. This is a Pittsburgh 6 inch digital caliper, item 62569, but they all should be very similar. And this was purchased from Harbor Freight for about $23. It comes with this nice padded case, and ours came with a spare battery. The buttons are the power button, the zero button, which calibrates it. You want to make sure it's closed and hit zero before all measurements. And this little screw locks it in place. Up here is where you switch from millimeters to inches. So the default is millimeters. We have inches decimal and inches fraction. And back to millimeters. There are four measurement points. In front, the big claw portion measures the outside of items. In the back, these points here measure the inside of an item. This thing that comes out here is the depth measurement. And on the back, from the edge here to this edge here, is the step measurement. There's a thumb slider here, and then there's a wheel for the smaller measurements when you get close. So I've dialed it out to a half of an inch. So I'm just going to show you. It's a half inch here for an outside measurement. Half inch here for an inside measurement. Half inch for the depth measurement. And for the step measurement, this is the one that may cause confusion. It's from the bottom to this edge right here. This basically the step that you see right there. So from here to here. An example of an outside measurement, always make sure you zero out first. I'm going to leave it in millimeters. The bigger claw is used for outside measurements. So there's our diameter. An example of an inside measurement would be using the smaller side. And you just open it up until both sides touch. Of course, you have to make sure your item is straight. If it's cattywampus, you're going to get the wrong measurement. An example of a depth measurement, again, make sure you've zeroed out. I'm going to use this little printed cube, and I'm just going to extend the depth measurement until it hits the bottom. And for a step measurement, I'm going to measure the length of this stem. So I'm just going to turn it around. put this here there so that would be my length there is a possible case where you may want to zero it out or calibrate it without the jaws being shut for example if I get the outside measurement of this item and now I want to know what the difference is between the main drill bit and the stem of it so I would zero it out here and then I could So that would show me the difference in diameter. One last thing is the battery. Just slides off. And you just use your fingernail to pop that out. And then press it back in. And that's pretty much the basics. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.